For the sake of simplicity, I will henceforth refer to the series of events as Ghost in the Closet. A slightly humorous name, a friend suggested, that's a bit less wordy. I've been leaving updates in the comments, but I think this needs a post of its own. So here it goes. I have uncovered a journal in the attic, underneath the family photos. It seems to have three distinctly different handwritings in it. And so I can only assume that a minimum of three people have written in it. The first page contains a list of rules, missing a few, and a journal entry that reads as follows. Dear Diary, We've only recently moved to this house, but already things seem amiss. I have never suffered hallucinations, nor have I taken any illicit substances, but shadow-like humanoids seems to persistently appear in my vision. I recently invested in a camcorder, or a camera, as the youths are calling it. I got little storage on it, but the photos I have taken appear completely normal, as if nothing were there, even when I can see these creatures. I'm starting to wonder if I have perhaps become hysterical. My bow has come to visit me in fear I may be admitted. He has so far appeared normal, although alarmingly calm about the situation. My dearest mother has recently come to depart, and of course I am mourning her loss deeply. I fear that my hysteria may stem from her recent passing, although these apparitions have been present much longer. My bow has only bore witness to the self-extinguishing of candles and the arachnids. I must get to my chamber. It is far too late to be unsleeping. I found this odd. According to the building records, this house has only been around for 30 years and the English used seem to be from a much earlier time period. I do, however, believe I may have found the source of the hanging man. The journal entry reads as follows. Dear Diary, My heart breaks today as I moan another loss. My dearest Bo, he was found today, having passed away at his own hands. The nurse and doctors claimed he passed peacefully, but how could one pass peacefully while hanging? And despite my anger, I cannot begin to imagine the pain my dearest sweetheart felt. I do hope his soul is resting in heaven above, despite committing the gravest sin. I would never have suspected he be the type to do such a thing. He had never even appeared distressed. He was full of joy and contentment. He was truly a good man and lived a life in a way our great Lord would approve of, regardless of his manner of passing. I am having a priest come to bless this house. Lord knows it direly needs it. Again, it is late. I must not journal so late into the night. I have an odd feeling that this may be the hanging man in my living room. He appears to be the most peaceful, only requiring a walk, which is often good for my mental health. The next entry appears to be a lot more recent and reads as follows. Holy shit, this place is haunted with a capital H-A-U-N-T-E-D. I need to get some paranormal investigators in here. They'll have a blast. I keep seeing these spooky bitches. My old man says I'm crazy, but I swear down something's off here. I'm trying to be funny about it, but it's scary shit. I'm serious. My rents have lost it. They're robotic and zombie-like. Sorry about writing in your diary, old lady. Please don't haunt me. I think your boyfriend was killed. Suicides don't tend to stick around. If my ghost haunting shows tell the truth, I won't put it past this creepy place. Anywho, peace out. I got spiders to catch.
There's a lot more in this journal, but I feel like these are the three most relevant. There seems to almost be a deep dive into every ghost in this journal. No word on the spiders yet, or the kid. I took some advice from you guys and spoke to my neighbors. The one side has moved out slightly, so I knock it on an empty house door for half an hour. The other side seemed a lot like my parents, almost brainwashed. They mentioned briefly some specific rules, but I couldn't really tell if they were talking about bedroom cleaning or a how-to on living. Either way, they were eerily similar to my parents. I spoke to a young man who I assumed is their son. He agreed with me that since they moved in, his parents changed a lot. His words were verbatim. They were like an AI, pre-programmed and cold. He seemed upset as though he were grieving his parents' previous selves. In arranging to talk to him on Saturday at a local coffee shop, he said he would see what he could get out of his parents. In the meantime, we had a pretty concerning development. I needed to grab a book from my house. I had an essay due for college in the morning and had to go into my living room. There I saw the hanging man, which for once was the least of my concerns. My father was sat on the sofa talking to it, but not in a language I understood. My father only knows English and BSL and has never shown any interest in learning another language. I tried to speak to him, but he didn't respond. He's deaf, so this isn't abnormal. But even when I was signaling directly in front of him, he ignored me. He was almost looking through me. It looked as if the apparition was giving him instructions. I tried to touch the hanging man, but my hand went through him. He didn't seem bothered. He seemed docile at the very least. My dad began to cry, almost moved by what the man had told him. Moments later, my dad walked out of the room and spoke to me, very robotic than ever, but with a look in his eyes that I can only describe as a cry for help. From that day onwards, my dad was much more strict about the rules and following them to the letter. He seemed to have received a warning from the hanging man. A few days afterward, I found an entry in the diary, in my dad's handwriting, which sent a chill down my spine. My dad didn't know about this journal. He had no way of knowing, but this entry was definitely his, and explained it precisely what had happened with the hanging man. It reads as follows. I spoke to one of the things in my house today, and something snapped in me. This house is so much more dangerous than I could ever have imagined. This situation keeps getting weirder and weirder. I thought the crazy was contained to my house, but apparently not. As some of you have seen on my last post, some very out of character things were said by me along the lines of, join us. I have no idea who us consist of, but I am aiming to find out. Also, to answer a question many people were asking, to avoid opening my eyes between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., I set an alarm to, for 7 a.m. And if it hasn't gone off, I assume it's too early. It's pretty easy to develop a habit of waking up without opening your eyes, although it takes a lot of consistency. As always, I will keep you all updated. Thank you for the kind words and advice. Please know I have taken everyone on board and will be shortly trying some suggestions.